One thing as we look at our common denominator is if we want to solve a rational expression or a rational equation, we got to make sure we have all the same equation. We all have the same denominators. Now, it might be easy for you guys to say, oh, well, the least common multiple or denominator is f squared minus 4, f minus 2, and f plus 2. Right? You just say, oh, just take all the denominators and make them in there. But that's not always going to be the least. All right. If you have an opportunity to factor a denominator, factor it out. So let's factor out f minus, or I'm sorry, f squared minus four. And when we factor out f squared minus four, we end up getting f minus two times f plus two. All right. Now notice, do we already have f minus two and f plus two in our factor? Yes. So I don't need to include this in my least common multiple because it's redundant. So therefore, my LCM is just going to be f minus 2 times f plus 2. So again, to get this, to get rid of my denominator so I don't have rational expressions anymore, I'm going to want to multiply every single term times f minus 2 times f plus 2. All right. Now, we notice that f minus 2 times f plus 2 is the same thing as f squared minus 4, right? So these are all going to divide to 1. Here, my f minus 2's divide to 1. Here, my f plus 2's divide to 1. Therefore, just leaving me with 2f plus f plus 2 equals 2 times f minus 2. Does everybody see where I'm at and understand? Yes. Good. Now, we notice that this is a linear equation, so I need to combine like terms and then get my variable to on the same side. So here I have 3f plus 2 equals 2f minus 4. Now let's get the variables to the same side. So I'll subtract a 2f. So I get f plus 2 equals negative 4. Subtract 2, and I get f equals a negative 6. OK? That's right.